Hey there, this is Tiff and welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is we solve your problems so that you're out there working on achieving your big dreams and big goals. So when you listen to these episodes, if you can do me a favor, take a screenshot of the episode that you're actually listening to, share it on social media and share it with your friends with hashtag potential with tip so that I can give you a shout out and really thank you for listening because I'd really appreciate it. Hey there, this is Tiff from Tiffany Micah podcast and welcome to part three. That's it, part three. Here we are, life categories. So now it is time to actually turn those life categories into our goals of what we want to achieve over the next six months. And then what we're going to be actually doing is we're going to break them down into what you can do in the next three months, okay? So if we look at all your life categories, and there was quite a bit that we we did, wasn't there? It can be really overwhelming. And you may think that also that you have to work on them in great detail. And, you know, you may feel that you may not be able to do that. You may feel that that's just too much and you you have that feeling of overwhelm. That's okay. That's fine. That's good to feel overwhelmed. But what we want to do is we want to ensure that you're also realistic with what you can do. I want you to feel as though you are making headway, right? So I don't want you to feel so overwhelmed that you're paralyzed. What I want you to understand is that there's areas in your life that need improvement okay and so for each category I want you to also understand that each category in your life is just as important as the other but what we also need to make sure is we need to make it very simple so what I want you to do is I want you to be looking at each category Now, in each category, what we had was specific things like health, family, friends, um, uh, energy, all that kind of stuff, didn't we? We looked at all those categories. So what I want you to do now is I want you to list the most important element in each category that you want to be true by the 31st of December 2019. So remember, it's six months away of what we're going to what we're going to be looking at. So what we want to do is we want to look at each category. Now, you already know what those categories are because we've already gone through them. So if you actually haven't heard these episodes before, I really encourage you to go back and listen to the um, Halftime Series Part 1, the Life Categories episode simply because you'll understand what I'm going what I'm talking about here. So what I'm going to do though for you is I'm just going to give you an example. So we're just going to look at one category like and I'm going to use health for an example simply because then I want you to get to work and, and do this because I've done a lot of detail in the first two episodes. There's been a lot of um, information I've wanted to share with you and so what we need to make sure that we're doing now is we're keeping it very simple and I don't want to give too much detail. I just want you to give you the example and then I want you to get out there and get to work, okay? So let's look at the health category. So what is it that that you want to be true by the 31st of December 2019. You want to feel healthy within. Do you want to weigh a particular weight? Do you want to look at a certain way, like have defined muscles? I want you to just pick one thing out of the health that you're actually looking for. Because if we do that in this way, the power will be in the detail that you actually give this one area, okay? So for you to feel healthy within, you'll have specific things that you need to do. For you to look a certain way to have defined muscles, there'll be a particular thing that you'll have to do. You want to weigh a particular weight, there'll be a particular thing that you have to do for that. But it'll all give you, it'll all benefit every part of your your health area of your life anyway. So I always find if we focus on your health first, and that's why I'm doing that now, it's actually going to complement everything else because if you don't have your health, 
everything else that you do will, it will be a struggle. So we need to really have that as our number one category, but we also need to make sure that what we're doing is we just want to pick one area in each category that we're really going to focus on. So health is going to be one, and you know what? What I'm going to do too is we'll look at growth as well, that learning aspect. So I'll give you two examples so that you understand what you need to do here, okay? So let's look at our six-month goal or our six-month outcome. So what we want to do is we want to be looking at our health, right? So the question is, is what is my current reality, Okay, so we've already identified in our life categories in the first episode is what our current reality is. So what is it? What is your current reality? And then number two is what do I want to be true by the 31st of December 2019? So for example, you might want to have defined muscles. So you might want to have a body measurement of of a certain measurement, you know, like if you measure your, your neck and your waist and your arms and your hips and um, your upper thigh and your calves and, and so on. You might have specific measurements and they need to be a specific measurement. Maybe that's it. Maybe it might be your body fat percentage. That is what is going to be your six-month goal. But what we then have to break it down into is into your quarter goal. So we then want to then identify is that we know our six-month goal, but now we've got to make it easier and break it up into quarters. So the same thing is what we want to do in our quarterly our quarterly outcomes. So from July to September, we're going to ask the same two questions in our health. What is my current reality? And number two, what is it that I want to be true by the 30th of September? Okay, so let's look at it. Our health goal for our six-month outcome. Let's use an example. Let's say you wanted to have a body um, body measurement of uh, five hundred and ten centimeters after measuring all these different parts of your your body, right? And your body fat percentage, you want it to be ten percent. That's your six-month outcome. But if your quarterly outcome, we need to uh, make, because that can be quite, a, that might be quite a distance away, and you go, oh, how am I going to do that? So let's break it down into the quarter. What is your quarterly outcome for your health? So let's look at the body measurement. So for the six-month outcome, it was 510 centimeters. Maybe for the quarterly outcome, it might be 525 centimeters that you want to get your body to. And then your body fat percentage is the six month outcome is is 10%, but maybe your body fat percentage, you just want to get it to 15% for the first quarter. So then what you need to do, like what we've done is we need to then list out what you need to do in these next three months of all the, the actions that you need to do, the nutrition, the types of fluids, the types of exercise that you need to do in order for that to happen. So that what we're doing now is we're getting the detail in place that then you you can then go and, okay, put that into a plan and get to work, okay? Requires some work, doesn't it? You can see how over the, you can see how I've broken up these episodes because I need to give you that time to then go and work on each, um, each episode so that we're putting some plans in place. So you know what your six month outcome is? Now we're just working on the quarterly one, aren't we? Okay, so you have the detail of what you need to do with your health. Now you've got to go and do the work. All right, there's your plan. Go for it. So let's look at growth and that, that learning type side of you. You might have a course that you might want to learn. You might have a particular book that has all the information that you want that's going to help you. Or you might want to study or complete a course by the 31st of December 2019. You might want to study the book in detail like you would in a course. I like to study books like a course. I find a lot more enjoyment out of that rather than just reading it, right? So our six-month outcome is, one, what is my current reality? Because we've established what the current reality is with our growth or learning. And number two is, what do I want to be true by the 31st of December 2019? So you might find that you're not as happy with um, with learning how you can um, 
where your emotions are at, right? So you want to learn in how you can control your emotions or you may want to learn an instrument or you may want to learn to play a song, right? And then it's what what it is you want to have that course completed or that song learnt or that instrument learned or um, learning how to control your emotions, something along that line by the 31st of December 2019. I don't know what your growth or learning is what that you want to achieve. I'm just throwing some suggestions out there. You might have something completely different to that. But then what we need to do is then we need to break it down, don't we, into that quarterly outcome. What is my current reality? Right? We still keep going back to what is my current reality. Then number two is what do I need to be true by the 30th of September 2019? So you write down, my current reality is da 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 right? I, you know, I haven't learned the instrument. I keep talking about learning the guitar. I keep talking about learning a particular song or I keep talking about how I want to improve um, my negativity of my mindset, but I'm not doing anything about it. That's your current reality, right? Then what you then want to do is that that number two, what do I want to be true by 30th September? I want to have completed half of the course by the 30th September, or I want to have, have learned all the chords of a particular song, or I would have want to have worked through that first half of that book and implementing what I've learned. List all the activities that you need to do for that. Then it's time to get to work. See, what we need to make sure, though, is we're doing that for every single category in our life, don't we? Every single category, we've got to go back and then we've got to evaluate, which we've done. Then we've got to look at our current reality, which we've done. And then we've got to then set our goals for the end of the year, which we've done. And then what we've got to do is do our quarterly goal which we've now done we've put the detail in place which we've now done and then we get to work don't we so remember those categories health emotions mental health family partner and friends lifestyle energy health treasure or finances growth or learning self-care we need to put that in place okay so i hope you enjoyed today's episode i'd love it if you could share with me what you like best about what you heard today and if you've got friends that you know that would benefit from these episodes i'd really appreciate if you could share with your friends these episodes and if you have 30 seconds to spare i'd also appreciate if you could leave a five-star review wherever you hear these episodes so i hope you enjoyed today's episode we're moving forward now aren't we we're we're on our way so get to work and i want you to dream big believe in you go after your dreams have an awesome day take care talk soon bye bye thank you so much for listening today if you have any questions about the frustrations that you're actually going through right now come over and visit my site tiffany micacom and you will see on the home page i've set up ask tiff now what ask tiff is is this is where you can ask me a question and i will record an episode for you on how to solve that frustration or those frustrations you're actually going through so that we can get the problem solved for you so that you're actually out there achieving your big dreams and goals so if you want me to mention your name in the episode happy to do so if you don't i can keep it anonymous it's fine by me but make sure you go over and and go to the ask tiff on the home page of my website if you've just got 30 seconds to spare i'd also appreciate if you could leave a five star review wherever you hear these episodes and remember take a screenshot add the hashtag potential with tiff so that i can give you a shout out for sharing these episodes on social media i'd really appreciate it and remember this always 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 dream big believe in you and go after your dreams